Dear little friends, welcome to Dive into Pooja's books. Today it is quite easy to guess what we are going to talk about. We are going to talk about what do you see here? Rockets. And we are going to see the actual demo of how does a rocket launch? How do we send things to the space? How do the rovers, they actually land onto the planets like Mars and why are they sent? Why are rovers so important? I had already seen in the satellites video, how does the satellite work and why is it so important for us? So it is also important to know how does that satellite get launched into the space and rockets are the answer to it. A rocket may be a missile, spacecraft, aircraft or any other vehicle which is pushed by a rocket engine. Some rockets are manned, so a man sits inside that rocket and other rockets for example missiles are unmanned. Manned means that person is in it. Foremost, how does a rocket lift off? More than 300 years ago, a scientist named Isaac Newton laid out three basic laws that describe the way things move. One of the laws says that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This is the most important idea behind how rockets work. If you see videos or pictures of a launch, you will see exhaust streaming out the bottom of the rocket. Exhaust is the flames hot gases and smoke that come from burning the rocket's propellants. The exhaust pushes out of a rocket's engine down towards the ground. That's the action force. In response, the rocket begins moving in the opposite direction, lifting off the ground. That's the reaction force. For example, this is how the launch will look like. You see the gases going down, the action and the rocket going upwards, the reaction. How do we launch things into space? We have a very interesting demo for you today with the help of an actual rocket built by Lego. So. Let's get started with the young reader Shlok who made this rocket right from scratch from the Lego blocks. Have you noticed what happens when you let the air out of a balloon? Oh, so the balloon went up when the air went down. Yeah. 
The air goes one way and the balloon moves in the opposite direction. Rockets work in much the same way. Hmm. Exhaust gases coming out of the engine nozzle at high speed push the rocket forward. Rockets need so much fuel to overcome Earth's gravity. Only when they are reaching a speed of 28,000 km per hour, a lot faster than the speed of sound, are they travelling fast enough to enter orbit. Oh, that's a lot of good information. So let me now be show you the actual demo of the, the launch. So let's begin the countdown. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 6, 7 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2 1, blast! Most rockets are made up of two or three stages. When a stage has used up all of its fuel, it is separated to get rid of its dead weight. It then falls back, usually into the oceans and far from populated areas or burns up in the atmosphere. So when the extra thingy, it broke down and fall into the ground, what happened to it? What if it falls over me? Oh, it doesn't fall over you. It's usually targeted for ocean areas or places that are away from the populated areas. Oh, and then... Or sometimes it, if it's not uh, reusable, it burns up in the atmosphere. So, if it's reusable, if it falls in the ocean, how can you reuse it? You, uh, there are boats waiting exactly where it's going to fall. Boats take it back to the station where they reuse the, the parts to make uh, the same rocket all over again. Oh cool! Okay, so the rocket is still going up and it is detaching the remaining parts which is fallen back to the earth. Now we will see how the satellite comes out of the rocket. So we see the satellite is out, its parts are opened and now it is launched into the space and now as you see the satellite which is launched from the rocket will revolve around the earth based on the momentum at which it was launched and the gravity of the earth. There are manned and unmanned rockets. With manned rockets we mean that the rockets which can carry man. Do you want to see how astronauts sit inside the rocket? Here's the small demo of it. So here is the little train which is carrying the astronauts to the rocket. And now we see show. The astronauts get off and usually there's a ladder and they climb up and they get on the rocket from here and they go through and sit just like here and you see they have controls around here and um, they control the rocket and they have screens on top over here and uh, everything for the outside of the rocket so they know the coordination and there are usually two astronauts that sit uh, front or side by side and uh, um, yeah and that's how it gets ready so you see the, the the astronauts inside the rocket because it's a manned flight you have the astronauts inside the rocket that will be going to the moon in a few minutes cool schlock so this is the control tower, uh, the control room for space rockets where they do the countdown like this. You see the, the things moving and you have these uh, areas and GPSs of where the rocket is. And you have these people. There are a lot more than two actually. Um, there are like about 50 in one and you have a big screen, a very big screen and everybody has their own monitor. And usually there's the logo printed over over here. 
it's the you like for example the nasa logo or the iso logo and um they have their phones and the keyboards and everything they usually tell the rockets uh when to do things when to detach and um, when to do the landing sequence and then the rocket people the people in the rocket they usually say uh what where their location is if they can't find and um how much more time there is until the landing so then they can warn them to uh, start landing and uh, there's usually a lot of celebration going on in here usually uh, there are usually drones and uh, people that film the rocket uh, taking off and like they usually have high places where they can go so they can go up and down like this so they you can show the whole rocket and this is somebody who uh, fixes the rocket they usually wear a hard hat of course and um, he has some tools as well and he you like kind of like built the rocket and yeah so these are what the people do so once the rocket launches will it keep going well it's not that simple earth's gravity is still pulling down on the rocket when a rocket burns propellant pushes out exhaust that creates an upward force called thrust To launch the rocket needs enough propellant so that the thrust pushing the rocket up is greater than the force of gravity pulling the rocket down. A rocket needs to speed at least 20,000 kilometers per hour and fly above most of the atmosphere in a curved path around Earth. This ensures that it won't be pulled back down to the ground. But what happens next is different depending on where you want to go. Let's say you want to launch a satellite that orbits Earth. The rocket will launch and when it gets to a specific distance from Earth, it will release the satellite. The sa- satellite stays in orbit because it still has momentum. Energy it picked from the rocket pulling it in one direction. Earth's gravity pulls it in another direction. This balance between gravity and momentum keeps the satellite orbiting around Earth. If you are going to another planet, you will need a fast-moving rocket to overcome Earth's gravity. To do that, you would have to speed more than 28,000 km, maybe double than that. But you'll also need to figure out the best time to leave Earth to get to that planet. For example, Mars and Earth reach their closest distance to each other about every 2 years. This is the best time to go to Mars. since it requires the least amount of propellant and time to get there but you will still need to launch your rocket at the right time to make sure the spacecraft and mars arrive at the same place at the same time let us also talk about the mars rovers what are mars rovers over the years nasa has sent four robotic vehicles called the rovers to mars why are these rovers so important Scientists have been sending spacecraft to Mars. Several different types of spacecraft have been sent to the red planet over the years, and they all have different specialities. One type called orbiters orbit Mars, taking pictures as they zoom around the planet. Other space spacecraft called landers provide photos and information from their landing spots on the surface of Mars. Rovers have wheels. and they specialize in moving around they land on the surface of mars
and drive around to two different spots. Rovers help scientists in their quest to understand what different parts of the planet are made of. Do you know these rovers, they can, they can even dig into the rocks and take out the chemicals from them and send back the details and that is how the scientists study the chemicals inside the rocks and see how of what it is made of for different years. Each rock is made up of a mixture of chemicals. A rover can drive around to different areas studying the different chemicals in each rock. These chemicals can tell scientists something about the environments that change the rock over time. Now we know about how this rocket works, why it is sent out and how it is sent out. If you have liked this video, press the like button. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to watch this satellite video of Dive into Pooja's books, one of the most popular videos of Dive into Pooja's books where you would know everything about the satellites that we just saw. And subscribe for free updates on the new videos. Thank you so much. See you again. Bye-bye.